Uh, I am Rob Del Creta. I uh, have been with PodCamp for this is my third year as an organizer, I think. Uh, PodCamp, um, I do, <laughs> I don't have an official title. It always seems to work out that way. Co-organizer. I'm the co-organizer. I kind of poke Missy and make sure that she actually <laughs> You know, keeps her head on straight and doesn't kill anybody. Uh, and I handle like branding. I handle the social media portion of podcast. <laughs> I uh, I do logo branding, uh, a little bit of promotion, a little bit of logistics. Uh, I fill in the gaps where um, gaps need to be filled for whatever reason. Podcamp is a yeah social media unconference, um, which means that it is about uh, media that helps you interact and share information with other people. Very basically. Uh, which can be can be television, could be radio. Um, it PodCamp itself, obviously by its name, uh, based off of podcasting um, and internet new media type things, video casting, and we certainly have a lot of content that caters to that. But as the years go on, we cater more to whatever we're considering to be new media, whether it's um, issues with dealing uh, with sharing so much information these days. Obviously, our our media stream these days has become. Uh, massive to the point where you know Google Plus is cool because you can manage that flow uh, and before it was you know hey I can send a thing to a friend and it's like 140 characters and that's the greatest thing ever um, so PodCamp is really just about getting a bunch of uh, getting a bunch of people who like to share things together and convincing them to share things with other people about technology the swath of people that come to PodCamp is kind of amazing we get uh, certainly the, 20 peop the, tw the people in the 20s who are hip, much like me. <laughs> um, but we also get uh, suit and tie business individual, we get politicians, we get uh, radio DJs, we get um, broadcasters, we get uh, people, you know, middle-aged folks who are trying to get their, their personal business off the ground. Um, we get students, certainly, who are trying to wrap their head around um, the concept of marketing, which is now something much different than what it used to be. So we get, we really do get it. We've, we get the, the older crowd. We certainly do get the older crowd. Um, and they're mostly looking for help uh, figuring out this whole internet thing. But we're happy to point them in the right direction. As someone who is a founder of a nonprofit, um, I absolutely understand the importance and value of selling a message, which is what nonprofits do for the most part. The idea is, you know, take something that you care about, whether it's bettering your community or something like that. And the ability to spread that is your bread and butter. That's the only way that your nonprofit is going to succeed because it's not about turning a buck. It's about getting that message out there and educating people and whatever you're going to do. Um, so social media has become an incredible tool to help nonprofits evolve, get more support, uh, share their message and in the end succeed in whatever their mission may be. Um, so I mean um, among all businesses there's a good chance that nonprofits can get the most benefit out of PodCamp. Uh, so when I moved to I moved to Pittsburgh in uh, September of 2008 I think sounds right uh, no August it was like August 3rd 2008 and PodCamp was basically a month after I moved to Pittsburgh uh, and Living in South Jersey, if there is a conference or a convention or anything, it means you're going to Philly, and it's pretty far away and relatively inaccessible to, inaccessible to most people. But I moved to Pittsburgh, and I was following I Justine at the time, and she mentioned on Twitter that she was disappointed that she couldn't come to this thing called PodCamp. And so I checked it out and, uh, and looked at the description, and a bunch of nerds getting together and having a good time. Sounded like something I'd be interested in. Uh, and so I, I came to PodCamp. And, uh, and I had this really stupid smile on my face the whole time because it felt, it felt like really cool to be around a bunch of like-minded individuals, uh, to be around people who are into social media and sharing things and tech and, and like, there are the people who are all about WordPress and blogging or whatever. And then they're like the Uber geeks who are about, you know, hacking hardware. They just happen to be there because they're looking to further some cause where they want to share things online. Um, and everybody was there, and it was the best thing ever. And I was, I was only able to attend the second day because I realized that it was happening on like Saturday night or something. Uh, so I came to the second day and I had a blast. And then I came to the follow-up meet and greet or whatever that happened at Firehouse Lounge. And, uh, and I met everybody 
and uh, those people now compose like s we'll say like somewhere forty to sixty percent of my circle of friends, um, the people that I podcast with, the people that I hang out with, um, obviously the now organizers of PodCamp, and uh, PodCamp. I, I will absolutely give PodCamp Pittsburgh credit for jump starting me into my uh, my career as everything in Pittsburgh.